Let's get this out of the way. Most movies are bad, so why is it that Hollywood never learns from their mistakes? Because even though so many films can be mind-meltingly awful, they make dump trucks full of money. Here are the 10 worst movies that made the most money, based on box office gross, divided by Rotten Tomatoes score. The only thing the Smurfs movie did right was release against no competition in a market that's always hungry for family-friendly films. This magic formula brought in half a billion dollars with a 40% average rating. The Phantom Menace is objectively bad. It's hard to argue with the fact that it's the only Star Wars movie with a rotten average at 56%. Oblivious audiences still managed to hand over a billion dollars to George Lucas, effectively saying, hey, do this twice more. Despite the internet culture of irony surrounding Shrek, the first two movies were actually pretty well received, but the rule of threequels dumped Shrek the third straight into the gutter with a 40% rating, but making nearly $800 million along the way. Godzilla 98's marketing campaign took the world by storm just like Godzilla took New York by storm, and when the smoke cleared and the Puff Daddy and Taco Bell tie-in damage could be seen, Godzilla had pulled in $379 million on a 16% rating, and we were left to wonder why an action movie starring Ferris Bueller and the voice of Apu was ever a good idea. Who is still seeing Adam Sandler movies? Please, stop guys. Whoever it is gave him $271 million for Grown Ups and paid for a sequel. 10%. Every bad thing has its worst part, and for Twilight, that was Breaking Dawn Part 1. Despite being puerile trash divided into an artificial cliffhanger to charge moviegoers for two tickets, the movie made $700 million with a 24%. I'm gonna level with you. I kinda like Batman and Robin. It has the aggressive apocalyptic madness of a movie designed to tear down an entire genre. And it kinda did. Batman and Robin supposedly killed the superhero movies, but it still made $300 million with an 11%. Ah, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, the fourth entry in a tepid franchise based on a theme park attraction that's also missing two of its main cast members and its original director doesn't sound like a recipe for success. And it isn't! Critically, with a 33%, audiences worldwide disagreed, giving this movie a billion dollars. It's exhausting to even try to make fun of the Transformers franchise, but Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen is like going on Facebook to see that dumb, mean douchebag who picked on you in high school has grown up to become a happy millionaire. $800 million, 18%. The Last Airbender was to say, critically reviled, hated by fans of the series, but still, it made $300 million on a 6% score. Though it tanked domestically, it raked in money hand over fist in the Asian markets, which is kind of amazing considering this Asian-influenced movie refused to cast Asians.